One Piece Twitter, an amazing place where you can get all of your toxic needs, full of agenda, sweat scaling, and crackpot theories that have a 98% chance of failing. And thanks to the recent chapter of One Piece, Twitter is officially gone full Sanji agenda. That's right, it is officially Sanji season. <laughs> Why, you may ask? Well, it's because Sanji blocked a laser. And, uh, that's, that's, uh, that, that, <laughs> that's it, I guess. Uh, but it's still cool because that is a great feat of speed. Even though we've seen it tons of times before from Luffy and from Zoro and heck even pre-time skip Luffy and Zoro we've seen that before so I mean it's not really new to react to light speed but it's still a great feat of speed and you cannot downplay this but it's also a great feat of durability and defense because Sanji blocked the laser which is impressive you know even though we've seen Marco do it in pre time skip and honestly it was a lot more impressive because he blocked like multiple lasers like a lot he dropped blocked like 800 of them and Sanji blocked like one but it's still good so Sanji fans I would like to ask you a very important question how is it like to eat crumbs from the dinner table because that's what you clowns are doing I mean there are some people calling Sanji admiral level now which may or may not be bait but I wouldn't really be that surprised if people genuinely believe that because let's be real the One Piece community is probably the worst power scaling community I've ever seen in my life I mean we recently just found out that there are actually people that think that Shanks is stronger than Emu and they're trying to reason it shout out to King of Lightning by the way but anyways, back to Sanji. Here's the thing. There's something you gotta know about Sanji. Sanji is a lot weaker than you think. Sanji is not Admiral level, which I'm pretty sure most sane individuals do know that. I'm sure you do. A lot of people, if not most people, seem to think that Sanji is also first commander level. And I hate to be that guy, but Sanji is second commander level. Sanji cannot beat King. He cannot beat Marco and he cannot beat Katakuri. If Sanji fought any one of those guys, he would get absolutely destroyed, especially by Marco. Matter of fact, I'm 130% positive that if Sanji were to fight against Whole Cake Island pre-Future Sight Luffy, he would get destroyed. <laughs> Boo this man! Boo! I'm sorry Sanji stands, but Sanji is just not that guy. He can't do it. He's just not capable of it. So while you guys are celebrating over your little crumbs, just keep in mind that if Luffy left that scene to go do something else and it was just Sanji versus Kizaru one-on-one, -on -one, that fight would be over within eight seconds. This man Kizaru would absolutely demolish this boy. I'm sorry, he, he, like, he doesn't have a choice. He has to lose. This man Sanji hadn't even made physical contact with Kizaru yet and y'all are celebrating? Yeah, that, that's pitiful. But the Sanji agenda isn't the only agenda that was affected in this chapter. Zoro stands, how you doing? You guys doing good? So, um, are you guys finally ready to admit that Zoro is first commander level? Because that's what he is. He's, he's first commander level. I know you guys are trying to push that Admiral agenda, but <laughs> it's failing. It's failing really, really hard. Because let's be real here. We know that Rob Lucci is pretty much first commander level. The level of difficulty that Luffy had fighting Luchi is completely different from what Luffy had fighting Kizaru. In Gear 5, Luffy clowned on Luchi, but Luffy had some difficulty with Kizaru. That you cannot deny, even though, you know, he did one-shot him. That, that happened, so. So obviously Luchi is an Admiral level, that's just ridiculous to say. So what's below Admiral level? First Commander level. And who just came back fresh from a fight with King? a first commander, Zoro. And who's getting stalemated by Luchi right now? Zoro. What does that mean? Zoro is first commander level. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It also means that Sanji's second commander level because Sanji and Zoro are not equals. Put that crap down. It's not true. I remember when the Zoro stands were going around saying, oh, Zoro's going to destroy Luchi. And I was like, huh, all right, okay. <laughs> I mean, take the Sanji fans, for example. All they're doing is talking about him blocking a laser, which is not impressive in the slightest, and Kizaru's facial expression. Why are they talking about that? Because that's all they can get out of it. They know for a fact that there's an 80% chance that Sanji's gonna get clapped. They know that he stands no chance against Kizaru, so they settle for whatever garbage that they can get. But Zoro fans, 
Zoro versus Luchi got you messed up. Let me tell you something. There's something you gotta understand about Zoro. For the longest of time, Zoro and Luffy have been fairly close, right? That's how a lot of the fan base saw them long time ago in pre-time skip. But we're not in Fishman Island anymore. We're not in Punk Hazard. We're not in Dress Rosa. We're not in Zoe, and we're not in Whole Cake Island anymore. When Wano started, there was a massive change right after Roof Piece. Lots of Zoro fans expected Zoro to absolutely destroy Luchi in a similar fashion that Luffy destroyed Luchi. However, what you do not realize is that there is a significant gap between Luffy and Zoro ever since Wano. When I say Luffy is Yonko level, not Admiral level, that means something. And when I say Zoro is first commander level, not Admiral level, that means something. It means there's a gap, and a big one at that. But with all the agendas flying around, I definitely gotta say, you guys are not very good when it comes to power scaling, like, at all. It's almost as if you don't even read the story, <laughs> which is an incredibly high possibility. You know how many clowns I've spoken to that are like, oh, I'm still in East Blue, but Sanji's stronger than Katakuri. Oh, well, at least you guys aren't as bad as the Shanks stands. Talking about Shanks over Emu. Seriously, one of these days, we gotta do something about y'all shank stands, man. Y'all, y'all have the worst takes in the universe. We, we, we got to shut down your agenda. Your, your agenda is the worst agenda in the entire franchise. But I digress. My agenda took a hit, too. My agenda, which I believe to be the honest truth, is that St. Saturn is the strongest one on Egghead Island currently. He has effectively done nothing. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good, because I know for a fact that he's, he's gonna show something somewhat decent and look, a lot of people are ripping on Saturn right now for doing nothing outside of getting beat up. But here's the thing. He can afford to do that because he just regenerates from all the damage back to 100% health. So it really doesn't matter. So when it comes to tropes like this, where someone has infinite regen, they're pretty much just like, oh, well, nothing really matters. He can lose like a limb or two. He'll be just fine. He'll just regenerate. So it doesn't really matter, right? But eventually Saturn will do something, right? <laughs> right, Saturn? You're going to... You're gonna do stuff, right? Come on, Zatter. Come on. I, I put you at number one on my top 30. You, you gotta do something, man. Come on now. But out of every agenda in this chapter, there is only one agenda that is actually worth something. One group of people that actually got something right. And that was the Caribou for Nakama agenda. That's right, Caribou for Nakama is confirmed for, for, for the Blackbeard Pirates. Hey, you guys are half right. You're not entirely wrong, you know? I mean, he, he joined a crew. Well, it's not necessarily confirmed that he joined the Black Bear Pirates yet, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna accept him. They're like, oh, you can be like our trash man or some garbage like that, right? But hey, Caribou for Nakama people, you guys have the only agenda in this chapter for actually getting something semi-right. I mean, for my agenda, I'm still waiting for St. Saturn to actually do something. Zoro stands are coping, talking about, oh, his bandana wasn't on, oh my god, he's still, he's still good, even though he was literally using Conqueror's coding when he first clashed with Luchi, but what, yeah, sure, sure, let's just pretend like that doesn't exist, and as for the Sanji fans, they're celebrating, for some reason, I, I don't know what's wrong with them, but anyways, you go ahead and celebrate Sanji fans, even though Sanji stands no chance against Kizaru whatsoever, you, you go ahead and have that hopium that you guys got going on, <laughs> you guys absolutely suck at power scaling. Tell you what, if Sanji actually does a good job against Kizaru, like actually lands a good hit, not Clash. I know how you guys love going crazy over Clashes. Clashes are worthless, okay? I want Sanji to legitimately do something. No blocking, no dodging. I want him to hit Kizaru with no help from Luffy. If he can do that, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, I, I, I will give Sanji a little bit more respect than I did before. I promise you I will. I'll take back some of what I said. Not all, but just some of what I said. But until then, Sanji is second commander level. Sanji cannot beat King. He cannot beat Marco. He cannot beat Katakuri. He cannot even beat Luchi. And he cannot beat Whole Cake Island pre-Future Sight Luffy. And those are the facts. I'm sorry, that's just the way of life. You gotta accept it. This... This mother... But anyways, guys... Make sure you like and subscribe. Come and join the Vagabond journey. And make sure you check out my other content as well, such as my top 30 strongest One Piece characters if you're craving some more power scaling and Sanji disrespect. That'll be the video to your left. 
or you can click on the video to your right if you want to see a totally respectful and well-meaning video about Yamato and her fanbase. You probably shouldn't watch that one though. It'd be safer just to watch the one on the left. <laughs> but anyways guys, with all that being said... Vagabond gone.